All right, guys, we just got done fishing. Um, the spawn's going pretty much full force up here in Ohio. So, fight's been real slow today. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me lately what kind of rigs I use when I'm trolling and drifting for catfish. And I've seen a lot of posts about it on Facebook. So, there's a hundred different ways out there to do it. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So, the first thing you want to do get you some kind of a dragging weight that goes down on the bottom and will go through cover. You don't want something real big and bulky. You want something that's going to slide right over rocks and trees and stuff like that. And the next thing you need to get is some kind of a swivel. I use this chain swivel. Um, I used to use a split ring down here by the hook. That way this could spin without twisting the line up. But I switched over to these, it's a lot easier to use. And then some kind of a float that will hold your bait up off the bottom. And then take that straight down to a circle hook. In this case, we've been, we just got done channel cat fishing, so I got a five out circle hook. Now, this is homemade. There's different companies that make different weights, different styles, different um, amounts of weight. If you don't want to make your own, you got a couple different options. I'll show you one of the ones I use. This one right here, I got from B Cat Products on Facebook. Uh, Brian's a good dude. Uh, he watches a lot of my videos, so Brian, if you're watching this and there's a better way for somebody to get a hold of you, leave it down in the comments or something. But Facebook, BCAT Products, you'll find him. And then again, same as the other one, you need some kind of a swivel that will let keep your line from getting tangled all up. And then if you don't want to use the peg float like in the, on the last rig, they're the cheapest route. I think you can get them a packet for like $1.97 or something for three of them. Catfish Sumo makes these rallying line floats. Um, again, there's different companies that make different ones, different styles. Um, but just something, again, to keep the, the hook and the bait off the bottom. Instead of tying a bunch of knots, I just run my line through the eyelets on this and then use a hair tie, rubber band, something like that to hold it in place. And then I can adjust it however much I want. And then just like the last rig, circle hook whatever size for the fish you're chasing. Thanks for watching.